Good morning. I'm pretty excited for my plans today. There's kind of like this event, you could say, where people from bushfire affected properties can come over and make some habitat boxes for the local wildlife just to help them to feel safe um, in areas that are in dire need of safe places for wildlife and birds. So um, I did volunteer my time. It's just a great opportunity to get out, to meet a few people and to help a good cause. So that's what I'm getting myself ready to do today. Got two drills just in case. really fun and really rewarding. I ended up making two habitat boxes, which is so funny because literally a month ago, I was on a mission to make some safe spaces for the birds around this area. So this activity is perfect in the community. So here I've got a lorikeet box. So this will keep them safe and there's a hole small enough for them to squeeze through, uh, but not so big that other predatory birds can get in after them. So that's one. And then over here um, is a box for a sugar glider. So both of these are going to go on the trees um, inside our forest. So I'm going to have to get Sam to get a ladder and pop them up. And hopefully we might walk there during the night and see some sugar gliders or even see some more lorikeets around us. But that was great. What a great way to meet a few people, socialize, get out of the house and make something really worthwhile. Oh, and I do have to paint them still and um, attach some of the wire mesh to the sugar glider house. Um, the lady forgot her staple gun, so we couldn't do it there. But yeah, little things. So while my nesting box is dry, I might as well share that Sam and I have started a new hobby this weekend and we've been trying to learn how to snorkel. So I've got some clips from our little adventure um, of Sam doing really, really well at snorkeling and catching lots of fish underwater and me, uh, not so much. <laughs>
I really want to swim to those rocks, but I don't think I can. Uh-huh. You might be listening to me walking along these rocks and complaining constantly and like, oh, Sam's a big softy. But no, we have proof now that this is a treacherous place to be. <laughs> Diane is bleeding profusely. What happened here? I, uh, I think I uh, touched the rock with my knee. Yeah. Touched it a little and Repeated got it. Oh yeah, it got you real good. And it's good. Mm. And it's good. I think I stepped on something. It's fine now because I put it in water. Yeah. Luckily, these rocks are right where the salt water is. It makes it better. Totally. Yeah. 